This video is about caramelisation. Caramelisation is the process of changing the colour of sugar from white to brown when heated. It leads to an appealing golden brown colour and a sweet flavour in baked goods such as cakes and also drinks. Caramelisation gives a buttery, toasty or a nutty flavour to food. The caramelisation of sugar depends on the type of sugar. Fructose found in fruit such as apples and pears caramelises at around 110 degrees Celsius. Whereas sucrose, the white granulated table sugar for instance, and glucose found in certain fruits and vegetables, caramelise at around 160 degrees Celsius. Sugar can be heated and caramelised to make decorations for desserts. You need to heat table sugar with water, which causes it to thicken and turn yellow and then golden brown. It caramelises at around 165 degrees Celsius, and as it cools, it hardens and can be made into shapes. Onions begin to caramelise around 110 degrees Celsius. The water evaporates and the heat breaks down the sucrose in the onions into simpler sugars like glucose and fructose. These sugars taste sweeter than sucrose, which is why caramelised onions taste sweeter than raw onions. It can take around 45 minutes for the onions to fully caramelise. Caramelised onions are used for French onion soup and often as an addition to burgers and the onions become soft and golden brown in colour. While baking, if the temperature is high enough, the sugar in a cake can undergo caramelisation and help it to turn brown in the oven. Caramelisation occurs between 160 degrees Celsius and 170 degrees Celsius. And as heating continues, the hydrogen and oxygen atoms in the sugar form water. This is released as steam. As the water evaporates, the colour of the cake changes to a golden brown colour. The cake flavour develops too as the sugar is heated and melts, giving a sweet and caramelised taste. If overcooked, the sugar in the cake will go from brown to black and become bitter tasting. At 200 degrees Celsius, the sugar burns and breaks down into black coloured carbon.